Okay, guys, the title of my talk is How Hard Can It Be to Manufacture in China? And it's very aligned to what Amir, um, Martin, and Leo have said. And yeah, a little bit about myself. My name is Mario Sanchez, and I'm the CTO and co founder of Tinitel. Uh, before Tin I joined Tinitel one and a half years ago. Before that, I've been working in for as a hardware developer, system architect, system, um, project manager for different hardware companies here. So, as many of you here, I'm a hardware guy as well. Um, so I will tell also a little bit about the, the, the story of Tinitel and the manufacturing in China. So our first try, right after Kickstarter campaign in May 2014, we went down to Shenzhen uh, and, and get our supplier. As many people think, it's not as easy as many, many have mentioned this year also. So as many people think that it's just go there, fly to China, and you go, you end up in a little street with a lot of factories next, you know, in, then you say, oh, that's the one making tiny towels. So you say, hey, it's hello, I want to do 100 tiny towels. And then you go the next day and pick out the box. It's not like this. Things will go not always as the way you expect. And in China, it happens most of the time. So we need to be careful. Six months after starting working with our first supplier, we had in the early 2014, we had to ditch this, our supplier, and most of, and mostly, it was because they had a really poor internal quality. Didn't follow any process. Didn't know what processes were. Not didn't know what status meetings were. Nothing at all. They were not clear role and responsibility. Not clear deliverables. Not clear routines. And we did not have a proper partnership with them uh, then. So, and the, one of the most important things that. Martin and Amir said is that they did not share the a vision with us. They, they were not on board in the project. So yeah, it was a tough moment, but it was a great lesson learned. After that, yeah, here we go again with the help of MediaTek, one of our partners, Abbas, sitting here. We got a, a good supplier and we started over. This time we knew better what we wanted and what we needed to do. We knew more how to set it up, so we, saw, we set really clear role and responsibilities from the beginning. We got a set of deliverables, working routines, et cetera. One of the most important things is, Leo mentioned this also, like from the first day one, we started building a relationship with them, became friends, you know, because this is really important, especially if you do business in China. Uh, I had to go there. I had to go to Shenzhen, Hong Kong every six weeks last year, for the last year or so. We made them part of the adventure and shared the vision. So from the first, from the day one, we told them what we wanted. We shared with them, with, with our supplier, you know, our ambition. So they, they became part of the trip. We didn't treat them like, you know, so many people think that it's just the manufacturing is just a negotiation to get a better price and things like this. In the beginning, you had to get it right and get together with them, and then you try to start lowering down the scene. So yeah, with this manufacturing, the timeline looked like this. In June, I started from scratch in April. We got the first prototype in June, EVT. Uh, September, we got tooling starter, certification test start, and design improvements and manufacturing preparation. So that was a DVT phase. Then in December, uh, as Amir mentioned there, there was some issues is where the issues are starting to appear. Some molding process issues affecting antenna performance, some th uh, gaps in the toolings and things like this. So from December to February, we had some um, iterations and it was in February where we started delivering to customers. So now we are delivering. Uh, the key focus here, just to keep us in the, uh, something that I would like to emphasize is focusing on internal processes, get, you know, manufacturers are really good to follow routines and to follow process, and keep, but keep improving them and keep them in the loop. Um, so I just want to leave you with some tips about manufacturing in China. Uh, select really, really well who you want to work with. And if your pro prospect is serious, they will do the same with you. I, what I want to say with this is that if, if someone says, hey, I want to do this, and they say, yes, yes, I can do it tomorrow and deliver, for, and deliver in a week, maybe it's not a good sign. Don't make any, make, not, don't make an assumption. Always be explicit in what you want and what you expect. That is, it's not easy, but have all agreements in written, always. If you take a decision, you change any log, you change any specification, written. Create a working routines from the beginning, and face-to-face -face meetings are needed. I'm not saying that it, we need, you need to be there like every week, but at least 
every six weeks, eight weeks is good to, you know, meet them. And it's really good. You get done a lot of things when you meet them face to face. Create positive process and, and keep improving them. Show that you care about them and they will they do the same for you. So you have to show your manufacturer that this, what you are doing is a win-win situation for both. If you're if the manufacturer wants to screw you, it's not a partnership. You want to screw your manufacturer because it's not. A, you have to show them that there is something there for both. I appreciate the, uh, something, something really important that, especially Asian cultures, I appreciate a lot. I appreciate their hospitality. They will, they will love to take you out for food, for dinner, for karaoke. Mr. Leo, I think you should know about that, right? <laughs> um, get involved in the history if you get in a personal level with them things are much more different and we learned the lesson and now we are really happy with that have a plan china has a lot of holidays in october in february so it's have a, have a plan because things we, these things can affect a lot your plan and in conclusion yes it requires a lot of patience a lot of work many flights many meetings many whiteboard as sami just met, show you in the photos, but in the end, it's all worth it. So, but yes, how hard can it be? Okay. <laughs> want, to, want to recommend the book if you want to see more, more experiences and, and, and fun things that happen. This, this is a really nice book published by Paul Midler. Tell us about Tiny Tab. I don't have a moment Sure. Yeah. So, this is Tiny Tab. It's a mobile phone for kids and with, lo with location features. Uh, so you can control everything from here from a mobile app. From a, so the parents app, uh, from the parents app, you can program the contacts, configuration, ringtones, or uh, update, uh, upgrade the firmware and everything. You can store here up to 12 contacts, and it will tell you the name, and then you can call the person. It also has look, some location features of from the mobile app. You can see where the kid is or at any time. Okay? Perfect, guys. Thank you.